back here on the Rich Eisen Show is Jay Billis. How are you, Jay? I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? I am loving the fact that it's the first time in two years I've had brackets in my hands, so that's terrific. I'm enjoying that. That is a good thing. I know. That is a good thing. I know that. So, uh, what's your impressions of what you what you have in your hands, and what what do you what do you think uh, deserves spotlighting, Jay Billis? Well, first of all, you have no idea what I have in my hands right now. Hey now. <laughs> Other than a phone, uh, okay. Unless your hands free, but very the, yeah, good. The, uh, okay. I thought the I thought the bracket was pretty balanced. Honestly, there was not a whole lot of griping going on. Part of that might be that we're so grateful to have the tournament back. Yes, uh, right. that, that we're not you know we're not taking a swing at the committee indiscriminately trying to knock them out. But the other part, I think, is that they did a good job. Um, usually, you can look at at uh, the regions and say, well, this is the hardest region by far, and this you know this team got a break. And I didn't feel that way about any of the regions. And honestly, Rich, I didn't feel that any of the teams that got left out got screwed. Um, you know, most of them just weren't all that good. I mean, Louisville could make a pretty good case uh, because I think COVID derailed them more than anything. Right. But but honestly, I didn't feel like uh, like a bunch of these teams got job. And you know, every year it, it feels that way, and it didn't feel that way this year. So overall, I think the committee did a pretty good job. Maybe it was the distancing that did it that they uh, they couldn't they couldn't talk one another into bad. <laughs> Okay, so we can actually say there is a benefit to not being in the same room. Uh, I dig that. Um, so, uh, what what did you think of the one seeds? I mean, th- th- I guess are we talking chalk here? That's what we all expected to get the one seeds the way that it all went down, despite my alma mater losing a, a couple of their last three games. What do you think? Yeah, those were no brainers. Um, you know, the only question mark you had was was how would they treat Michigan with Isaiah Livers out? But my sense is with this sort of stress reaction thing, that there's a good chance he'll be back. If he's not back, um, they're still very good, but they're not elite offensively. They're just very good offensively. Like, they, they, they could have won. Um, you know, they could have beaten uh, one in the tournament, uh, the Big Ten tournament, without him. But they had a shot to win uh, against Ohio State at the end. Um, but with him, they're, 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 they're elite on the offensive end. But they got, a, they got a pretty difficult draw to play without him. If they wind up, it's going to be a really good 8-9 game between St. Bonaventure and LSU. If they wind up going against LSU, LSU's got some athletes, man, and they are actually starting to guard people. That was the problem early in the year. They didn't guard anybody. And, uh, and they got beat several times by teams that shouldn't have beat them. But uh, but they're playing now, and they've got NBA talent. They've got some really good players. Cam Thomas is a is an NBA player. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.